to our next bout here, ladies and gentlemen. We have Dalton Velasky taking on Herman Rich. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Herman Rich. Coming to the cage by way of Wise Warriors MMA, it is Herman Rich. Now the 23 year old former high school wrestler is coming off a win in his last outing with a TKO in round one. Keeping that momentum going is so important. After you get that first win, you wanna keep that flow going. Momentum is a big thing. And once you get that win, like you said, Jeremy, you wanna keep that momentum going, but it gives you the confidence of going into this next fight. And introducing his opponent, Dalton Viglaski. Coming to the cage by way of Dal by way of Waterloo, it is Dalton Vilgaski. Now, this former high school wrestler has been, re I mean, he went wrestled through high school, but he actually started at three years old. So he's used to competing. He's used to being just him and another person in the center of a mat or a cage or whatever the case may be and just competing. That's going to go a long way as he, as he makes his debut here tonight. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Dalton Viglaski, 21 years old, 5'7", 152.6 pounds. Herman Rich, 23 years old, 5'10", 153.4 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a mixed martial arts bout scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships lightweight division. Introducing first on my right fighting out of the Pappy's Smokehouse Blue Corner, a mixed martial artist who stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in 153.4 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Herman Rich. His opponent across the cage tonight fighting out of the first form red corner. This fighter stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighed in 152.6 pounds. Fighting out of Waterloo, Illinois, the sniper, Dalton Viglaski. Boy, the crowd tonight, as you can see here on our wide shot, is just absolutely packed. Referee Tim Francis has the call for this contest. This fight is three three-minute rounds in the Shamrock FC lightweight division. Dalton Viglaski in the red tape. Herman Rich in the blue. Herman backing him up here to start. Oh, big shot already. Right to that wrestling. Oh, but he gets oh, snapped up. It, that armbar is tight. Oh, he's transitioned right into a triangle. Oh, my goodness. You know, Herman just needs to control the head, control the posture. I think he might have gone. I think he, he went out. Go. I think he's out. I think he's I out think cold. He's out. Oh, my goodness. That is it. A big win there for Herman Holy Rich, who literally just jumped, jumped out of the cage. Out of the cage. He jumped out of the cage, think, ladies and gentlemen. I think he actually fell out of the cage. I mean, he seems to be all right. You know, I think the adrenaline saves him there. Yeah, um, he may be hurting in the morning from yeah, that one. Yeah, you know, I think, I think, I think Rampage Jackson made that slam really popular to get out of a triangle, but unfortunately, that just, yeah, it's not the way to go. It's nine and a half out of ten times that's not going to work. Let's take a look at your at our instant replay now. Again, this triangle is super tight. Pulling down the head. Pulling That's where you got to be. He's asleep at that moment. Yes, he's done. He went to sleep. Now, I w oh, we don't have the, the falling out of the cage, which would have been amazing. That, that was something else. <laughs> it really was. Well, let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to a close at 27 seconds of round number one due to a leg triangle. Your winner out of the blue corner, Herman Rich. A giant submission there for Herman Rich. Beautiful display of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I know you got to be impressed with that. Yeah, that was beautiful. I mean, he started to go for an armbar, immediately transitioned right into the triangle, controlled head posture, and just... 
just finish this textbook. Looked beautiful, great. beautiful. We have more action to come as we have a kickboxing bout with the ladies, and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.